Whoa, that's a full rainbow all the way. Double rainbow, oh my god, double rainbow. It's a double rainbow all the way. Damn, it's a double rainbow. This is my go-kart. Here is the steering. This is the brake. That doesn't do anything. I just gotta take that off. There's the kill switch. And turns the tire. There's right angle sheet thing. I don't know. And then that turns. Alright. And it goes to there and turns in. So it's pretty simple steering. Alright, so they're 10 inch pneumatic caster tires. Here is the engine. The only modification on it is the exhaust. It adds about one horsepower more. There's the clutch, it's 12 tooth, and then that's a 61 tooth sprocket. And chain is kind of loose but it's all right so the chair is off an office chair I got it trash picking and it's adjustable so that's pretty cool I got a little toolbox in the back in case that anything gets loose I can just fix it up this is a 5 8 inch axle right there's the the caliper and the rotor for the brakes and how I got the tire on is that's a socket that goes over that main part of the tire and that's the only weld on this go-kart is right there and right there and that's to reinforce the tire because the other day it snapped All right, and then that's just set screwed onto the axle there's the engine mounts it is from right here to right here is 33 inches in between from right here to right here that's 11 inches 13 inches overall and these support beams that go across to keep it from bending or flexing are 58 inches long they meet back to the first engine mount right there. That engine extends off a little bit. It's got a little bit of flex in it to handle the torque so that it doesn't vibrate that much. When you, It vibrates a lot though, but it's alright. So the throttle, what I did for that is the cable goes from in there, there, to that bar that's back here. The cable runs all the way over to here. You now what this is, is, there's a little extension spring there. So we uh, pedal, all right. And so you go like that. It, it doesn't give it full throttle, but it's very close to it, so. Like, you can see the hand thing. I'm using the foot pedal now. Alright, so, it's a pretty simple setup. So, for bearing holders, all I got is, oh, that doesn't do anything, is I got a shaft collar right outside the bearing. And that bearing sits in this piece of metal right here. And it's bolted on really simple. It's a one wheel drive, but it's on a live axle, so this tire just is chilling for the ride. It's pinned on so it won't fall off. And it's pretty simple. Its overall length is 66 inches long of this first 
Oh, steel right there. That's 56 inches. And then that one's it's 10 inches long, that piece of white steel. And it's painted black, so it won't rust. And it vibrates a whole lot, but it sounds really cool with that exhaust. That the exhaust makes it sound deeper and a little bit louder than the stock exhaust and it gives you more horsepower so yeah that's it